Hi guys. Um, snowed in, iced in, everything you can imagine. Um, I still haven't gotten up my driveway yet. It has been nine days now. Um, my husband walked up after a whole week of not getting the mail because we could, just couldn't get up. And because um, it's just frozen ice. And so anyways, he walked up the side where the embankment is where the snow was plowed up the last time and he fell three times on the way up to the drive uh, up to the mailbox and so he finally got the mail after a week I was so excited um, that you know mail came I'm like attacking him as he came in the door anything for me anything for me so anyways that's what it's been like here um, I am going stir crazy um, if I don't get out of this house soon I am just going to go nuts. Um, anyways, the guy that was supposed to come and salt our driveway today never showed up. Um, he's the guy that plows our driveway, but I think it's because it's Sunday and maybe the place was closed where he gets the salt. So, I don't know, but I'm telling you, I am chomping at the bit to get out of here. I think even Walmart right now is looking really good to me. Um, we have to go out and get our um, food in because the kids are coming Friday night and the baby my new grandson so I'm like if we get you know if we don't get out of here by then and they can't come because of the damn snow I am going to be fit to be tied I haven't seen my grandson yet he's three months old and I haven't seen him yet because um, my daughter lives in Sweden and she's been in the States since the 28th they arrived and um, so she and her husband and the baby were spending a couple of weeks on the Cape um, with my ex so and this week she's with my older daughter who lives in Western Mass and um, so the two of them are driving up here with the baby Friday night and I don't care if I have to get out there and pick that ice with my hands. Um, I am going to hold my grandchild. I just will be so upset if they can't come because of, you know, they can't get down the driveway with all their luggage and the baby and the, you know, baby bags and paraphernalia and diapers and all that stuff. I don't know how they're going to get down. Um, so keep your fingers crossed, guys. Say a prayer that my driveway is clear by then. It's been warm um, yesterday and well warm not for some people for us it's warm when it's 40 degrees it's above freezing um, so I was hoping that some of it would melt yesterday and today but what happens is it all melts down from the top and then starts you know freezing at night so down on the bottom of our driveway where our house is it is like a skating rink. So, fingers crossed, I hope the guy that salts our driveway gets out here tomorrow because I am so housebound. I'm just going nuts. I just want to get out. I want to get um, out to the store and get some food. We're running out of everything. Um, I haven't let my husband touch the milk for like, it's been, actually it's been nine days. And I haven't let him touch the milk because I need it for my tea. So I said, don't you dare go near that milk. And um, if I look at one of his cookies that he likes, he's like, mm, you know, like, like a dog. But anyways, so my hair needs highlights and lowlights so bad. It, it is like a mousy brown and it is just driving me nuts and I need a cut and I mean it, it is just it has no shape to it um, I need a cut and I need a color and but Ripley is a little depressed still because he lost his brother um, and that that was a hard thing for us We're just getting to the point now where we can talk about him without crying you know um, it was just so hard. Every time I think about it, you know, putting them, having to put them down, just 
starts it all over again, so I'm not even going to talk about it, but I have a couple of friends on here um, who are going through a rough time right now. Um, one has some, a couple of them actually have some health worries going on. Um, a couple of them um, have, have lost pets recently, and one real recently, and I am just praying that you guys are going to be okay and that you find peace and good health this year and I just, anybody that's feeling down in this weather, you know, being cooped up in the house, just remember this too shall pass. That's the only thing that's getting me through it is the fact that, you know, we got February, March, and then April. That's like 14 more weeks by, by the time our uh, lake gets thawed out. But I mean, it is coming, guys. And so we, you know, better days are coming. So just keep your chin up, keep your hopes, you know, high, and and know that this too shall pass. Um, Anyways, um, I'll just sign off for now because I'm just sitting here blabbing away and um, I just wanted to come on and say hello and yes, I am still here. Um, I've been like the person behind the camera lately and, you know, not getting in front of it. And of course, I'm still in, I'm in my bathrobe right now and I have my little waffle knit um, long sleeve, like long john jersey on and in, in a pair of sweats. Um, I'm just staying comfortable. Nobody's coming down my driveway and no one's going up, so I don't have to worry about anybody stopping in. And why not be comfortable, right? I mean, if you're going to be miserable, you might as well be cozy being miserable. You guys, have a great night. Um, it is Sunday night right now. I'm losing track of the days. It's just getting crazy. Um, Keep your fingers crossed that I get out of here soon, that my driveway melts and we get some, you know, that warm weather that just melts everything and the guy can just come and plow the slush out of my driveway and it dries out nice. Um, that's probably hoping for too much. At least make the driveway passable so we can get up and uh, melt some of that ice. So have a good night, guys. And this is it. I'm, I'm really going now. So. Have a good one. Bye-bye.